Welcome back and welcome again to our last subset, the third one, the organic compounds containing nitrogen. So we have the amines. Okay, so ito yun. Dalawa na lang, amine and amide. And, uh, and amides. So, ano yung identity ng amines? When can we say that a compound is an amine? So, amines, okay, and the ammonia have been replaced by the hydrocarbon group, so the R group. When that hydrogen is being replaced by a hydrocarbon group, that is amines. Okay, amines like ammonia, they contain a nitrogen atom. We know that the valence electron of nitrogen atom is 5. So, yung tatlo attached to the hydrogen, and then yung dalawa is a lone pair. So, making amines basic, like acid and bases. So, amines are classified as primary, secondary, or tertiary. As you can see here, R group, okay, only one R group is attached to the primary. The secondary is two R groups are being attached to the nitrogen atom. And tertiary, I mean, uh, three R group is being attached to the nitrogen. So, wala ng hydrogen. So, depending on the number of alkyl substituents okay, attached to the nitrogen. So, ganun mag-name ng amines. So, amines are named by alphabetically. Okay, and then, uh, the f uh, linking the names of the alkyl or aromatic groups bonded to the hydrogen and by attaching the suffix uh, amine. So, may kita natin dito, dulo ng names nila is amine, amine, and amine. Okay, and there's a prefix di or tri to be added. Okay, di and tri if all the R groups are identical. So, we can see here methyl amine, primary amine, because only one R group, this R group, okay, is attached to the nitrogen atom. And two, methyl is now being attached to the nitrogen atom. That's why it is called dimethyl amine. And for the third one, tri methyl because there are three R group of methyl being attached to the nitrogen and no hydrogen attachment at all. Okay, so simple amines are very soluble in water and those okay, found as gases at room temperature are normally sold as solutions in water. All amines, even tertiary ones, can form hydrogen bonds with water. So pwede mag-form ng hydrogen bonds si amines kahit itong tertiary sa water. They have low boiling points. So these are the okay the type primary, 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 secondary, tertiary. So kung sinabi nating primary, may kita natin dito na one R group is only attached. This one is actually a long chain. Okay, also this one. So may kita natin na two pa rin yung attachment ng hydrogen sa kanila. So, meaning this is a long chain being attached to nitrogen. Secondary, so there are two R group being attached. That's why merong sub 2 dito. Close, you know, uh, open parenthesis, CH3. And then for the tertiary, there are three R group of methyl, trimethylamine. That's why it is sub 3. CH3, so tatlong methyl. And you can see here there are no H at all. And also you can see the boiling point is very low. Okay, especially for the tertiary, but this long chain okay, have high one boiling point. So we have here the applications and uses of amines. So when it comes to amines, okay, ang unang papasok sa inyong chemical dapat is thiamine, the vitamin B1, caffeine, so when you say coffee and then hindi siya decaf, so meron siyang, so caffeinated siya may caffeine. Okay, nicotine, so may kita ninyo in, in suffix. Ayan, so that can be found on the cigarettes and also in the vape and other drugs. So may kita natin dito that uh, amine center salts are used in corrosion inhibitors, so pang anti-corrode, in boilers and lubricating oils, morpholine, antioxidants for rubber and roofing asphalt, uh, diarylamines, uh, di uh, diarylamines, sama as Stabilizer, stabilizers for cellulose nitrates explosive nitrate explosive diphenylamine 
as protectants against damage from gamma radiation, okay, diarylamines. As developers in photography, so ginagamit po is aromatic diamines. As flotation agent, flotation agent in mining, as anti-climbing and waterproofing agents for textiles. Okay, as fabric softeners, pampalambot ng fabric, tea paper coating, sa kulay, yung mga colored papers. So, yun, uh, ginagamit po yung amines. And for solubilizing herbicides. Okay, para maging soluble yung mga uh, compounds na ginagamit sa herbicides. Okay, other examples of amines, ito nga po, thiamine, caffeine, and nicotine. So,